This is signed and numbered. And it looks like it's got a COA. Yeah, it does. With the nativity. Oh my gosh. It's somebody's whole collection of mud men. Oh, that's colorful. Huh. A little painted velvet. And then these guys, I think. Yeah, they're they're bells. More mud men, but behind the mud men, I see a pretty no, no. <gasps> Darn it! <laughs> well, you know I have to. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, it's official. We have reached 100 degree temperatures here in Las Vegas, but what am I doing? I'm out at Goodwill because that's what I do. Now, I do, I do need to be very disciplined and very picky uh, because as most of you know, unless you're new to the channel, and if you're new to the channel, I'll give you a little uh, catch up. I am in the midst of packing and getting ready to move. I am purchasing a home and oh my lordy, we just went through home inspection time and right now sitting on seeing uh, how things are gonna get fixed. Those of you who have purchased a home know that the home inspector goes in, they fine tooth comb the place, they find all the things that are wrong and then there are some things that have to be taken care of and then it's a matter of like who's gonna pay for it and and all of that. So that is where we're at right this minute. And uh, so we don't have a closing date yet. I don't know exactly when moving is gonna take place, but I know I have to get ready. So that was a long way of saying I'm moving and I need to be picky. So come along with me as we go into this Goodwill and see what we can find for resale in my whatnot sales, which is resale of course, but uh, mainly whatnot because I can flip that stuff really, really fast and then a few things for the boutique. All right, with that, let's get shop done. All right. You know, the first thing we have to do, let's go find a lucky cart. Let's see, I do, I do like the lighter blue ones. It's a color thing. Oh, but that one's not coming. Well, I always have trouble with these at this store. Always, there we go. We got one. We got a lucky cart. First thing I see over here is these roosters. Quilted bear, part of set. Red bandana rooster. That one's $3.99. That one's $5.99. I really love those. I'm gonna grab those. All right, that wasn't really quite the way to start off being super picky, but I did like those. And they called to me right off the bat. He is missing an ear, kind of cool stein. Okay, our color, our 50% off color is still orange. We have not changed colors yet. That happens very soon though. Got some little dolls. What are these? They're Barbara Lee. Petite porcelains. Not my kind of doll. Daisy and Button, kind of a nice Piece, but 13 is a bit too much. These, I mean, I'm used to finding these for like two or three bucks. They've got $7.99, so I can't pick that one up. Look at this dachshund candle. Definitely can't do a dachshund candle. This is signed and numbered, and it looks like it's got a COA. Yeah, it does. Great Eyes, Mill Creek Studios, Stephen Herrero. And they are asking $60 for that. I had a feeling when I saw the certificate taped on there that it would be at a bougie price. Little egg with a nativity. Oh my gosh, it's somebody's whole collection of mud men. Now, 
I just don't do well with these. I know some do. Some can get really good money for them. I don't, again, know enough about them to know which ones are super valuable and all that. And they've got them priced up pretty good. Red tag, $8, $10, $6 on the little ones. Yeah, I'll leave those for somebody else for sure. I mean, I can imagine if you collect those and you walk in and you find a shelf of those, what kind of joy is that going to spark? That'd be pretty darn cool. It'd be like me walking in and finding a shelf of Murano glass. These are $24.99. And then if I was buying for myself, you know, I would be okay with the price. This is a uh, Capitamonte that has been made into a lamp. So this is this was a lamp. That's why it's got a hole in the top and the bottom. If this was the actual lamp, it would have some value. But I am not in the putting lamps back together business, so I'll leave that. I have a brown one of these. Oh, $7.99. Okay. What is happening? The thing would be that, and this is it in a nutshell, if us resellers were getting the higher prices to justify paying more for things then we could just pay more for things but we're we're seeing lower prices on things it's going the opposite direction unless you find things that are super special i mean this is pulling me um this has uh all the things in it i believe probably came from jerusalem bless this home i don't know if any of my Jewish friends out there uh, can tell me what the uh, symbolism is because I believe may I could be wrong I believe this is um, maybe not maybe I don't know I really don't know I don't know why I was thinking it was Jewish just the symbols but but maybe not okay if you know anything about this piece let me know I'm gonna put it in the cart well that's colorful huh the little painted velvet hearts with the beads around it. That is interesting. Hummingbird clock. A bee. Looks like he came from like Hobby Lobby. I know. I see another bird clock back there. Very, very cheaply made. Wake up and be fabulous. I overslept this morning. Rachel overslept this morning. She was late for her horseback riding lesson because we both overslept this morning. And that just never happens. Like we're not oversleepers. So that was really, really weird. Plant parent buddy. Bella is a gentle soul with big ears, making her a very good listener. Bella loves watching people dance and can remember every move. Why are they called plant parents? Plant not included. Adopt one of these loving pets, each with its own unique personality for you to discover with your new little buddy. You can watch your plant put down roots and welcome them. Okay, it's really just a planter, right? It's just a planter. So we've got an elephant and we've got a bear. And they're new in the box and they're super cute for five bucks each i'm gonna grab them and then these guys i think yeah they're they're bells they're not very good quality oh they were only ten dollars and i think that's a probably about what i could get for them so i'm gonna pass those at five Oh, goodness. Oh, it's a pirate coconut. He spun. Oh, are you Fitz and Floyd? You're all broken. Oh, you're really, really, really. I don't even know if I can maneuver. Okay. Stand by. Nope. He just says made in China on the bottom. Unfortunately, he's super broken. But look what I found behind him. I found another plant buddy. That's a penguin. All right. They've got their medals over on this side. Let's see what we can find. Pretty butterfly. Seven. Looks like a store went out of business and donated all their stuff to Goodwill. 
$5.99 for the little birdie. That looks like it's really damaged. Look, yeah, it's just painted. It's not stained. I mean, like stained glass stained. But stained glass isn't really stained. It's really like glass. So why does stained glass get called stained, but it's not stained? I don't know. Sometimes the questions just pop into my head that must be answered or not. All right, let's see. I don't see anything else. Hmm. Clear glass shelf is quite full. Let's see if there's anything we can rescue today. Nothing is calling to me though. It's all pretty plain stuff. We got vases and vases. Candle holders. 99 cents. I'm trying to talk Rachel into painting some glass pieces. Because if I could pick up little things like this for 99 cents and she could paint it and then she could sell them, that would be pretty fabulous. These guys are cute. They are World Market for $2.99. I will pick those up for $2.99. World Market is pretty pricey stuff. Oh, you are an abstract whale toothbrush holder. Unfortunately, you're pretty chipped up. You're really neat though. I like it. Little bottles. That's Dale. Dale's kind of cute. Got a big old fantailed pigeon. Rachel likes big old fantail pigeons. Oh no. Dude, don't you know I'm getting ready to move and now I'm just gonna have to like pack you up and move you with me? That's okay. I kind of love you. More mud men, but behind the mud men, I see a pretty sugar bowl with blueberries or are they olives? I want to say they're blueberries. $5.99. I don't think I love it $5.99 worth. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's way too smooth and shiny. This is another one of those plant buddies. I'm not going to bring the one that is not in its box. I am going to take the ones that have their original box, though peek at the little chicken. Decorative use only. He's got a bucket handle that is broken off. It's too bad because he was terracotta. It's not bad quality, but it's pretty super broken. Makes me sad. Oh my gosh, there's more. There's a frog one. Mm, no, no. <gasps> Darn it. <laughs> Well, you know I have to. And we've got lots of fake plants, but nothing super exciting except maybe these. Oh, they're pretty raggedy. Pretty raggedy. There's a piece of confetti glass from Mexico. $8. For the right price, I would have picked that up. Eight is not the right price for me. All right, we're in the plastics. Let's see if there's anything exciting. Hmm. So far, not. So far, nothing. Okay, we escaped the plastics. More butterflies. Interesting. Always makes me wonder, like, okay, where did all that stuff come from? Curious. Oh, these are the same plates that we sold at the Good Stuff, I do believe. This is a Bugs Bunny plate. Pretty scratched up. It's a Gibson, $2.99. Oh, are you Franciscan? 
Desert Rose. I do believe they are. That's Franciscan Desert Rose underneath there. There is a crack. It's just a, it's kind of a superficial crack under there. Oh no, that's that's substantial. All right. I was thinking I could make one of my projects out of it, but not with a big old chipper rooney. The chip kind of does it in. I don't really see anything else except is this melamine? Cute little trick or treat melamine plate. Who makes you? It doesn't say two ninety nine. Hmm. I don't need to be picking up Halloween. I don't need to do it. Don't need to. All right. Let's see what we got in the mugs. Hmm. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. I love that saying. I say that one a lot. It's true, though. It's really true. Oh, I don't think we're getting any mugs today. Okay, all right. Let's see if there's any glassware. Now, I, as I've been saying lately, glassware has to be pretty super special for me to pick it up right now. <laughs> but then there's... Always some interesting things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> and those were those were interesting. I'm not gonna get them, but they uh, would drive the OCD person a little bit crazy. Let's see how much the cactus is. Dollar ninety nine. That's not a bad price. I have plenty of those right now. Oh, I see something. It says bulldogs. They look more like French bulldogs. It's the American. I always get in trouble for saying this name. I still, I've been told a million times how to say, how to pronounce this. Adelier. I don't know. I call it Adelier because that's how it's spelled. And you guys can tell me down in the comments, but it still just won't sink in my brain how to say that word. It's just the one I can't get. Uh, but I will go and pick those up because they are brand new. Oh, I was looking at those Daisy and Button fans going, could I make some of my projects on those? Oh, I thought it was $6 for three. It is $6 each. Nope, nope, nope. I can't do that. Can't do that. I was thinking I was going to do the three for $6. That would have been okay. Got a Harry Potter mug for 99 cents, Ravenclaw. Hmm, it's not in bad shape for 99 cents. What's this going on right here though? Yeah, it's got some damage right there. It's like a discoloration. Or is that supposed to be like a cloud? No, because it's not on this side. Okay, oh, we must leave him. Hmm, what are you guys? You're cute. Cute little siesta creamer. There's the opening, $7.99. Nope, can't do it. I think those are probably worth, man, maybe like 15 bucks. What is, oh. It's a knife set. Multifunctional magnetized stirring cup. Well, I guess we'll never know. All right, let's see. More kitcheny stuff. It's kind of a cute canister, but it's very. I always hate to insult them by telling them they're low quality. Oh, wait, that's not even a canister. The lid doesn't come off. I don't know. Maybe it's just decorative. Yes, yes, these things have feelings, I know. No, I don't really believe that, but it's kind of fun to think that, right? I do respect stuff, though. I don't know, however you wanna, however you wanna mesh that around. That's me. All right, we are in the crafty section. This is a store that I have found some pretty good stuff supplies for my own store. I always dig through this area a little bit. Music box, 3D, wooden puzzle. Huh. 
Ooh, confetti bath bomb. Let's not, let's not get that. Hmm. Greeting cards. <laughs> Lots of greeting cards. All right. Nothing here today. Monster High little box. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something I can say something about because I have to cover up that music, but these shelves are not very exciting today. All right, let's see what we got over here. Hmm. Nothing there. Or maybe I'm just in my picky mode. No one loves you as much as I do. <laughs> nice sentiment. Nice sentiment. Puzzles. No? Let's look through here. Nothing is looking very enticing here either. All right, let's move on to something else. Okay, how far away is Easter? <laughs> there are two of these peeps baskets. I can't resist. I'm going to get them both for $2.99. All right, let's look through the pillows. Now, the thing about the peeps is my daughter has told me that, you know, peeps are collectible all time of the year. So somebody, somebody may want those right now. Giving part made with love, Demdaco. It's um, it's a beanie. Hmm. Interesting. Cute little bike pillow. Yeah. Nothing too exciting here today. Let's take a peek up here. In the plushies. I don't see anything calling me. Color match. Mm, baggies. I have been peeking in the baggies lately. I've been finding some cool things in baggies. All right, nothing on this side. Anything on this side? You guys let me know if I miss something. Just let me know. That's how I learn. Hello, little cuddly cat. Hmm. All right, we've got one more side over here to find something good, but it's not looking promising. Nope. All right, let's go see what's happening with the lamps. Mm, not a whole lot, not a whole lot. Lamp shades, and then art, of course. Beauty is only skin deep. Oh my gosh, look at those puppies. Little Sharpays, oh, hang loose. You're cute. I am not going to get you though. Hmm, just got some really good art at the previous Goodwill and my mind's a little bit more on higher end right now. I'm looking for something to really call to me. And uh, no, that's not it. And, nope, nope, that's not it. I actually don't think there's anything here, but I do see, let's see. There's a signed something or other here. First pitch, Reggie, 2019. That's interesting, but no, nope. don't do the baseball thing. Looking over the furniture, look at this wood chest. The latch is broken, but man, that is a solid piece of wood right there. Whoo, they're asking 50 bucks. All right, let's take a peek at some purses. $7.99 for the green crochet, not crochet. That's more of a macrame, actually. That's not bad, it's not 
bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Rosetti. BB. Oh, that one's 40. Who are you? You look like a Kathy Ireland. Zealand. Kathy Zealand. <laughs> Kathy Ireland. That heart reminds me of that. But I don't think this is. I think it's something else. Oh. Hello, little horsey. You're $5.99. New with tag. Sleepyville Critters. Why does that sound familiar? You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and get a little horsey purse. And then, you know, for the adults, the tequila purse. Total regrets. I don't know. Is that just funny? $7. Mm. That's probably a $10 to $12 purse, so I cannot pay $10. It's funny, though. I think it's gonna do it in the purses. Let's see. Oh no, we've got lots of yellow tag. Okay, so that's what they're doing. They're buying jewelry. And this is all their yellow tagged bought jewelry. Definitely not what we're looking for. All right, this is more like it. I think I might look at that piece. Let's see. What is going on there? Is that a pin underneath there? Oh no, I think it's a ring holder. And then there's a ring. Okay, now I see it. I see what's happening. All right, nothing, nothing super exciting. I do like the multicolor beads. I'm gonna see if those are glass beads. Um, don't see anything exciting in the bracelets. Let's look down here at the necklaces. Hmm. I don't see anything even worth messing around waiting at the case, really. No. No. I think we're going to pass on jewelry. All right. That's going to do it. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. there. I love when I find something with quantity, uh, always, because you make one listing or as in the case of whatnot, I do a choice lot and I only have to make one listing and then I just sell it all. Those are like some of my favorites and I can take a little bit less on the margins because I'm selling in quantity for basically doing the work one time. Uh, so that, that was exciting. I like, I like finding multiples. It was really weird. I, I usually have to buy clothes or something at this store because they never have paper, which was the case here, but I only had one thing. Well, I mean, I had a few little breakable things, but I fit two of them inside the peep baskets and then the one I just wrapped up in uh, a bag and I was out the door. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I didn't go crazy. All right, heading home. I am... Uh, all by myself tonight. Kids are at their dad's celebrating Father's Day and uh, I'm home with the animals. In fact, I need to get home because poor little Peanut does not like being alone. So I need to get home to her and I think I'm at work on my project. Hmm, that could show up at the end of this video. 
I hope so. All right, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Well, I was going to start um, showing some of the video of my little projects I'm working on, and that is coming soon. But uh, a lot of it is at the store. So I'm like, you know what, let me just be transparent here and show you what I'm dealing with here over the next few weeks. Because all of this has to either be sold or packed up. And by sold, I mean, we are going to do an estate sale here. Um, I have to decide. I'm still, you ever have those items where you're like, keep or sell, keep or sell. I don't know. I love them so much. I may keep them. I may find a place for them. So they're not going to be sold right away. <laughs> but yeah, so I, uh, I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. Because the reason this all gets behind... So a lot of these items were bought months and months ago before I had a system. Now I have a system. Now I buy things. It comes to the store. I get it processed in. It either goes into my booth or it gets sold on whatnot. And I got a pretty good flow going, but I don't ever really have the capacity to add more items. And that's my problem. And a lot of these are the bigger items that do either need to go to the booth or like this shelf in here. This was an eBay shelf. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me with all my receipts I have to do something with. So this is my better items that were supposed to go on eBay. But I have not found time to do eBay listings lately. Again, time. It's just, and I know I can't make more time. But what I can do is try to find someone who can do the things that I would spend that time on. As long as it's a revenue generating activity, you can spend money to employ somebody. Um, so I'm just like, I'm in, I'm in this like little space of figuring this out right now. Uh, over here, there's a lot of Christmas stuff. These, I think I'm going to keep. I do that a lot. I'll buy something. I go, am I going to keep it? Am I going to sell it? Am I going to keep it? Am I going to sell it? And, and I hold on it long enough till I can make that decision. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep these because now I'm going to have a nice little backyard patio thing to deal with. <sighs> and then some stuff is just stuff that I love and I want to find a place for. But now I'm in limbo and I'm moving. So I don't know what that place is. I've talked a lot about all of my artwork that I've never really hung in this home. So this is a mix. Some of this is for sale. And then some of it as um, my personal art, you know, like all the bird stuff. I didn't make a bird wall in this house because, I don't know, we just never settled in. I mean, I've got some really nice pieces of art that are still packed away. I've got an overhead garage rack that I've never put up. So I will have these two and that one. And there's one over in the other garage. Now that garage, that garage is full too. That's a single car garage that is also full of stuff. Uh, so we, uh, I will not take this on by myself. I have help coming. This will be conquered. I will be videoing conquering this as we go. And also the thing is I have to be super careful. All of the boxes that are on ground level have the potential to have scorpions in them. So everything has to be carefully unpacked from those boxes and then packed back up. Now I have purchased tons of these, tons of these beautiful black and yellow storage tubs um, because scorpions can't climb plastic. So these are safe. Anything that is packed in these is safe. So that is it. This is this is my life in a nutshell right now. Again, you always hear me talking about not buying any more glassware. It's because I have a lot of glassware I have to deal with. A lot of it is eBay. Like um, glassware is really hard to sell like on um, whatnot or even in the booth. You know, um, I could sell it at the booth, just not at the prices 
that I know I can get for it online. And that's kind of, you know, the thing. Uh, I, you know, spend $2 a glass, I want to at least get maybe like $8 a glass. So there you go. Little transparency into uh, niche lady life. And uh, it's okay, because we're going to get her done. And you're going to witness it. It's all going to be coming out over the next few weeks because moving day is happening. I think we close escrow in about, oh, three weeks. Yes, it's happening. And I got to figure out where I'm going to hang my disco ball because that baby, that baby right there, she's going up. And then this is my office. Now, I've already got all of this slated for um, the store. Except for the purse. Purse will go in a purse sale. And then I got to pack up all of my shelves. And I'm debating, am I going to bring this shelving unit? Or do I want to get a new one and take this one to the store to actually display things? I do love this unit. But I've had it a very long time. And it might just be time for something new. I think the top is where I... The only place where I actually finished my decorating, everything else got a little bit started, and then I just started jamming stuff on the shelves. I'm not kidding, guys. I have a lot, a lot of. I'm sorry, it's really dark. This I cannot wait to get out of this really, really dark, dark office. But I've got a mix of turtles and all my beautiful crystals and spheres and towers that I just love them because they're beautiful. And um, I'm really looking forward. I'm looking forward to getting out of limbo. This office, I have been in limbo. Uh, I did set up my antique display cabinet with my blue opalescent. But you can see, um, look at dinner from last night. You can see I never really, really got to do anything in here. So... I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to a fresh start and to be able to enjoy my beautiful things again and actually take Goodwill tags off of things. Okay, who else does that? Who else forgets to take the Goodwill tags off of stuff that goes up on your shelf? Is that just me? Okay. So I'm going to end this video and I'm going to get to work. You go be profitable and make it fun.